regardless of which programming language you're learning, programmers tend to have some conventions when it comes to naming things like variables and controls. I've got three of these naming conventions written on the page here. We've got camel case, Hungarian notation and Pascal case. Personally, I use the top two, camel case and Pascal case, for quite different reasons in my code. Uh, and I don't really use Hungarian notation at all. I've put it there because some textbooks and online tutorials use Hungarian notation when they're naming variables. I just don't do that myself because it wasn't the way I was taught originally. But we'll start with camel case first of all. And like it's written here, we have the camel case that is basically all lowercase, except if we have two or more words, we capitalize the first letter of the second or subsequent words. So for example, I highlight it, the first word is camel here, the second word case, I've actually made the second C here a capital. Now camel case is used a lot when you're naming variables and when you're naming controls like text boxes and buttons etc. So as an example, if I was naming some variables, I might go first name and the N of name is capitalized because my variable is essentially two words. Or I could cho choose to write the variable name, just one word, all in lowercase letters. Now when we're naming controls, we tend to start with a little three letter prefix that tells us or reminds us what the control is. So I might go text, all in lowercase letters, and then any, any words that come after that, we begin with a capital letter. So I might go text, first name, or text, name. Whether it's variables on the left here or controls on the right, these are showing examples of camel case spelling at work. It's all lowercase letters. If the name comprises two or more words, or in the case of controls, anything after the three letter prefix, we begin the second or subsequent words with a capital letter. 